We're gonna keep pushing ahead this morning with the Hano star, Chris Perez, who's been working on new music. And this morning, he is here to talk all about his latest work with us. Please help me welcome back Chris Perez to the show. Chris, welcome. We're so happy to have you. Thank you for having me. Nice to see you again. And sorry for embarrassing you a little bit there in the introduction with the puppies. I had to do it. <laughs> well. Thank you for that. <laughs> How have you been? You've been working on new music. Tell me all about that. Yeah, new music. Um, you know, we, we, everybody going through the pandemic and just kind of being locked away in their own little space or whatever, it's finally, you know, feels good to be out and about. And now with my musicians and recording and have new music coming out, that's the first single drops on Friday, which, um, I'm singing on this one for the first time, so I've usually sang background vocals with my lead vocalist, mm -hmm. but on this one, just the way everything kind of happened uh, and ended up with me singing and everybody was supportive of it and we like the way it sounds, so it's what gonna come out Friday. Yeah, what inspired you to want to take that lead and what kind of song are we gonna be hearing? Um, well, it's it's a definite, it's like a rock pop alternative mm -hmm. song. Um, I. Most songs I have, if not all of them, I can sit down and play on an acoustic guitar, you know. Um, but the, funny enough, the song came to me in a dream. Um, the music did, and I was in the studio in my dream with Justin Timberlake, of all people, and I was telling them, hey, check out this new song I got. And it was the riff. I started playing the riff. Well, I recorded it on my phone, came back to Texas, and then just started like, I think the inspiration of pushing ahead and what, what it says lyrically mm -hmm. is about, you know, coming out of the pandemic and how tough things were for a minute, you yes. know what I mean? But we just keep pushing ahead and I ended up in a really good place, you know, thankfully, and I'm just grateful to be where I'm at. Well, I'm happy for you and your continued success and love for music, obviously, oh, yeah. and the fact you're dreaming about it. And hopefully Justin Timberlake is watching <laughs> yeah, right now. Watching. <laughs> and you're, the next song will be with him. I think it's possible. He just did um, a bachata song with that guy Romeo. I, I forget his name, but he just did a bachata song. So yeah. why not with Chris? Well, we, that was one of the cool things that came out of the pandemic is that I did get to work with a lot of different artists, mm -hmm. um, which is kind of how uh, one of the ex MDO guys needed a, asked if I would play guitar on a track of his, and that's kind of what started the dialogue with George Lopez and. Um, Andy Vargas is the lead singer for Santana and they were just creating a record label and it just kind of organically happened. Yeah, so tell me about this collaboration with Malas Palabras Records that is coming about. Yeah, so I had recorded a song and then next thing I know uh, Andy, uh, well first off funny story, George and I met during the Latin Grammys a few years back, uh -huh. pre-pandemic, and I was in Miami. I had been out and about, and I was getting in the elevator to my hotel to go, and as the door is closing, I heard, wait, hold the door, hold the door. And, oh. I, you know, I, was, I held the door, and here comes George Lopez with uh -huh. his golf clubs on, and I happened to have a guitar in my gig bag on my back, you know, and he was just, his spirit, he's a super funny guy. Mm -hmm. We kind of connected in that elevator, just talking, he's like, man, because, he was hosting the award show, so he knew I was part of the Kings at that time. And mm -hmm. so we kind of already knew each other, so to speak. And we had a discussion in the elevator about music and Eddie Van Halen, who he knows is one of my favorites. And um, that was how we first met. So when I talked to Andy and he was telling me about the record label, it just was a, kind of like a no brainer. You know, he wanted to hear some of the music. I sent him some of my music and he's like, we really want to work with you. And things just kind of took off from there. That's so cool how like the right place, the right time and the right connections, you're able to make these wonderful collaborations and yeah. future, your future is just going to continue being bright. And you I mean, never know. So far, so good. Yeah. And, yes. and you know, I, again, I'm extremely grateful and I've got a great team behind me too. So it's not, it's a lot of work, but it's not just me. Everybody's been putting in the time. So. That's so nice of you to acknowledge others as well. But we're, we're so excited for you, and I'm glad you have a wonderful, supportive team. Tell everyone that you are going to be performing in Texas at the Dallas State Fair, right? Yes. Texas State Fair. Yeah, the first, the first um, gig with my band post-pandemic with my original group that, you know, we play our original music is going to be October 4th at the Texas State Fair in Dallas. So we're headlining the main stage, and if you can make it out there, San Antonio, I'd love to see you out there. Okay, well, I hope that everyone gets excited. The release of your song is this Friday. 
This Friday? This the, Friday? This Friday, the single drops on all the digital platforms, you know, whether it's Apple Music, Spotify, there's like so many now. But <laughs> you'll find it out there uh, on Friday. And then the following Friday is the actual video drop, which we're also I'm, excited I'm looking about. forward to seeing your video because yeah. we were talking about, man, is it hard to make a music video? So I'm, I'm curious to see what you did there. Yeah, I'm, so far, I mean, you know, we've just got the very last edit to do, but I'm proud of what I've seen so far. Well, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to that. And you know, the last time you were in studio, you're talking about your hot sauce. You're also releasing a new Chris Perez pepper sauce barbecue yeah. flavor. So we want to have a barbecue and a with you. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. okay. So your sauce flavors range, and you're going to use this, right? They, they range from mild to spicy. So we're going to rate some trends as hot or not, okay? okay. Just going to say like phrases, and then you, you say it whether it's hot or not. All right, so so Crocs. Crocs. My daughter's going to hate me for this, but not. Eee, I have to agree <laughs> with you. Chamoy. Chamoy, that's hot. That's hot? You like chamoy? I you do. put it on everything? I When I find it, yeah. It's not usually around me, but when it is, it's I, 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 I'll eat it. Okay. The Edgar haircut. You know which one I'm talking It's like the new bowl cut. All the young kids are, are wearing it like that. Man, well, I, you know, I don't like talking about hair, people's hair or their hair. If you like it, go for it. So I'll All say right, hot. there you go, hot. What about crowd surfing? When people, you know, at your concerts, your shows, and they're crowd surfing, is that hot or not? I think it's hot. Okay. As a matter of fact, there's a crowd surfing scene in my new video where they're just carrying me across the one of the one of the scenes. It's there you go. Cool. Something for you guys hot, to look definitely. forward to. Okay. Um, I have it. I am not gonna lie. My lash extensions, fake eyelashes. Hot or not? Hot. Hot. Okay. Yeah, like you them. like? Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. All right. All right. Pumpkin spice latte. Mm, honestly, uh, for me, not. Okay, same. Not. I don't drink coffee, but the craze is a lot. I have, there's a lot of people here at Great Day. They love their PSLs, and I'm like, uh, I just yeah. don't get it. But yeah, <laughs> no, it's 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 crazy what you can do. You know what people do with their coffees nowadays. Because I just remember growing up in my, with my with my Ita and my Ito and their mm -hmm. morning coffees, and just plain black, maybe a scoop of sugar. And now I go to Starbucks and different places. It's like wow. Yeah, I know. know. It's it's a it's a true trend and craze. Uh, what about dressing up pets? You were holding a puppy earlier. Or do you like that when people dress them up? I mean, hey, whatever floats your boat. You know, yeah. I've never done it. Um, except maybe I put on a Dallas Cowboys jersey on my, Cute. my oh, that's dog, Come you know? on, that's awesome. I mean, that's I'll, do, I'll do that. Very appropriate. So, yeah, I'll say hi to that. And what about Bad Bunny? Everyone, he's the craze in the world. And I just got to know from one artist to another, Bad Bunny. You know, always respected uh, because, you know, in the business, in the industry, you tend to look at numbers and, and how things are kind of going. And so in that respect, I... I there was a lot of respect for him there, but then I saw pictures of him recently mm -hmm. and he's wearing a Selena shirt on stage. And so, you know, mad respect to him. Yeah. Um, I saw him on the Latin Grammys and became a fan immediately. He did that song about, uh, I think it's, I call it the Tia song. Yeah, the Titi me preguntó uh, yeah, si tengo no. Yeah, I won't. Actually, taste. you sing. You, you <laughs> no, go ahead. No, no, no. <laughs> I can't do that one, but. I saw that and instantly fell in love with it. And I'm always asking Alexa to play me that song. So. Well, wonderful. Thank you so much for always being such a good sport with us and just talking to us about all that's going on. We're happy for you. So thankful you were here today. Well, thanks for having me. Absolutely. You guys stay